Faced by much larger armored units deployed by the Indian Army on its borders, Pakistan has long placed a high emphasis on fielding modern and sophisticated tank units to complement asymmetric assets, such as ballistic missiles and nuclear rocket artillery with a powerful conventional force on the ground. Despite having a fully professional army, without reliance on conscription, Pakistan's armored divisions are still among the largest in the world with around 2,500 tanks thought to be in service. The large majority of tanks in service are either Chinese designs or jointly developed Sino-Pakistani platforms, with China's emergence as a world leader in the field of armored warfare technologies having benefited Pakistan's situation considerably. The only exception to the South Asian state's reliance on Chinese designs was the acquisition of the T-80UD tank from Ukraine, which is the heaviest tank in the Pakistani army today. An evaluation and ranking of the most capable tanks in Pakistani service are given below. VT-4 The Pakistani army's purchase of the Narinko VT-4 battle tank from China was confirmed in February 2020 with the South Asian state expected to eventually receive over 300 of the platforms. The tank was notably developed specifically for export, and represents by far the most capable tank in the country's inventory. The VT-4 has access to a range of advanced specialized munitions to engage specific types of targets and comes equipped with either a 125mm or 120mm cannon depending on the kind of munitions the client seeks to use. With China has emerged as a world leader in the development of armor-penetrating rounds, the latest of which is compatible with the VT-4S gun, Pakistani armored units using the new tank will have a significant firepower advantage over other units which will be further augmented by much greater accuracy. The tank is prized for its GL-5 active protection system which can detect incoming projectiles and fire pairs of rockets at them with its double detonation sufficient to neutralize most threats. Al Khalid 1. Entering service from 2001, the Al Khalid program was pursued in parallel to both the less ambitious Al Zara program and Pakistani purchases of Ukrainian T 80 tanks to revolutionize the country's armored warfare capabilities. The tank is currently operated by three other Chinese defense clients, including Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Morocco. The tank can fire indigenous NISA 125mm depleted uranium anti-armor rounds, and benefits from a muzzle reference system and dual-axis stabilization. Auto-tracking for its primary and secondary weapons allows it to cue the targeting of multiple threats at once, while its integrated battlefield management system and digital communication system were among the features placing it ahead of the T-80UD in older Chinese designs and sophistication. For protection, the tank benefits from composite armor, explosive reactive armor, and the Varda active protection system. The Al Khalid I represents an enhanced variant of the original design with a capacity for 10 more rounds, bringing it up to 49, and a more advanced multi process fire control computer. The tank has improved detection and engagement ranges, an improved rate of fire, new sensors, and a new electro optical jammer. The newer variant is also equipped with indigenous Arak MK.2 explosive reactive armor which is highly resistant to various anti-armor weapons. Around 50 Al Khalid I tanks are thought to be in service alongside 300 of the original Al Khalid design. T-80UD Despite having been a long-standing adversary of the Soviet Union, Pakistan was able to acquire the most elite class of Soviet battle tanks in the aftermath of the superpowers collapse which was widely considered the most powerful tank of the Cold War period. The heavyweight design was a direct successor to the T-64 and IS-3 tanks, and was never offered for export by the Soviet Union due to the sensitivity of its technologies. The tank was a heavier and more capable counterpart to the T-72 and T-90A tanks, although its high maintenance and operational costs and very high fuel consumption led Russia to prefer the lighter designs and the T-90 in particular. Ukraine produced the T-80 in limited numbers domestically after the Soviet collapse and provided around 320 of the tanks to the Pakistani army between 1997 and 2002. Among the T-80's most notable features are its gas turbine engine, 
which provides a significant performance boost, but also limit endurance due to a far higher rate of fuel consumption, as well as a relatively fast autoloader, and a very high level of protection from composite armor and active protection systems. Pakistani T-80 variants are notably much older and less sophisticated than the most advanced T-80 BVM variants in Russian service which are technologically over two decades ahead, leaving their ability to counter the most advanced Indian tanks such as the T-90MS highly questionable. al -Zerer. Entering service from 2004, the al zerer tank represents a heavily upgraded version of the Soviet T-54-55 tank which first entered service over half a century prior in 1947. Despite the design's age, its Chinese and Pakistani developers managed to revolutionize its capabilities providing a cost-effective and very low-maintenance tank that is well-equipped for 21st-century combat. The tank's 125mm smoothbore gun places its firepower on par with the most heavily armed platforms in the world, and ahead of designs such as the German Leopard 2 which use smaller cannon. At 44 tons, is 22% heavier than the original T-55 design, and has an engine almost 50% more powerful at 730 HP. The al zerer programs succeed in offering a replacement for the Chinese Type 59 in Pakistani service without requiring much more maintenance as heavier and more complex designs such as the T-80 or other Chinese tanks offered for export such as the Type 88 or Type 96 would have. The tank benefits from modular composite armor and explosive relative armor for improved survivability and makes use of modern fire control systems, laser range finders, and a range of advanced munition types including Pakistani manufactured depleted uranium rounds designed for armor penetration. Around 500 al zerer tanks are thought to be in service. Type 85 Formerly forming the elite of Pakistan's armored units, around 400 of the Cold War era Type 85 tank are currently in service. The Type 85 was a direct successor to China's first fully indigenous class of battle tank the Type 69 and inherited many of the same features. The tanks were among the first to feature a 125mm gun providing much improved firepower over previous generations and had a hemispherical turret similar to the older Type 59. Although not seeing combat, the older Type 69 benefited from extensive combat testing particularly in Iranian and Iraqi hands which is thought to have influenced the newer design. The tanks were among the first to incorporate applique composite armor. Despite their considerable firepower, the tank's designers maintained a very light at around 40 tons, and the design benefits from reduced crew requirements from 4 to 3 and from relatively low maintenance requirements.